Ever wonder where tornadoes come from? Let's make sense of it with science. Nearly all tornadoes or cyclones start with a storm, like the one brewing overhead. See over there? That's warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico pushing northward. In its path is a much colder polar air mass speeding east. Once they collide, we're in for a big storm. Tornadoes appear during storms like this, usually in the spring and summer. That's when our hemisphere faces the sun's rays longer and more directly. The extra exposure heats the winter-cooled Earth. Sometimes warm air from the Earth rises and mixes with the thunderstorm's air drafts. If those warm up drafts start spinning, a tornado or often a group of them will form. Just like that long funnel over there, the one stretching up to the thundercloud, we can see it because a tornado is filled with dust and condensed water droplets. Looks like it's heading our way. A tornado can measure anywhere from a few yards to more than 300 feet across. Watch out, we're going for a spin. The winds inside here can reach over 300 miles per hour. A tornado wreaks havoc when it touches down, and there's no telling when that's going to happen. We need to get out of here before it does. Oh, talk about good timing. Oh, thanks for weathering the storm with us. And now you know it all makes sense with science. This has been presented by Bear Corporation's National Education Program, Making Science Make Sense.